Whoa. What? <laughs> eh? Whoa. I don't know what's going on. I've mucked Is it up. technical difficulty? I've mucked up the sound eh? again. Um. Hello and welcome to a very impromptu. Technical difficulties. What is going on? Again. Um, hello and welcome to a very impromptu. Technical difficulties. Is that on your end, Michael? No. Hello and welcome to a very impromptu. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> oh my God. What a disastrous start to a live stream that was. I had the live stream on YouTube open in two different tabs. Huh, good work, Tony. It's a good start of the live stream, shall we say. Apologies for that, audience. Um, yes, and a very impromptu live stream. Um, Brill Bricks is asking... What time in Australia? What time is it in so, Australia? So, NWA is 6.34 p.m. 6.34 um, uh, on the west coast of Australia. Yeah, west coast. Gracie wanted to do a live stream, and I'm always happy to do a live stream, but... I think I might have important things to say, first thing first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We've got to bring in our guest first. Oh, yeah. He'd be waiting. Yeah, I don't want him to sit in the green room the whole time. No, for sure. So, Gracie wanted to do an impromptu live stream, and I was trying to think of a topic, and I was like, hey, I want to talk about my Action Man prototypes. Uh, Action Man, Action Force prototypes. Yeah. Mainly because, like, Gracie's not very knowledgeable about toys, but you do know Bob Breakin. Oh, can, I loved him. Yeah. You can speak very kindly about, uh, oh. about Bob Breakin. Yeah. Um, but I thought after the last couple of live streams, I might need some backup. <laughs> I think we do. So I have brought in my moderator, Michael Schaefer. Hello. Hi, everybody. How are you? How are you guys? Should we just say welcome back again? Sure. <laughs> Thank He's you. always here. What do you but mean I mean, like, to, uh, it's, I feel like I'm all the way here now. So welcome back again. Thank you. Yeah. And welcome good to you. Evening. I'm glad you're back on. Yeah, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. I have no <laughs> idea where everyone is. Yes. Um, live long and prosper, Michael. That's, and um, to you, my friend. Peace <laughs> and long life. Can you do that thing? Of course. Like, I physically have to go like that and then I can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's... Just a dexterity thing. Two finger, two finger. Can you pull that together? No, I don't think that's working for me now. Do you, what's that from? No, I can't do it. Sixty thousand dollar question, pop quiz. What's that? What's that from? Nazi. What? It's from Star Trek. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch Star Trek. <laughs> um, we've got, got a super super chat from, from Cody. Wood, wood. Another Gracie show. Oh, my God. This time will be something much more, much, much more different. Should I just say first thing first, PSA, public apologies. Public service announcement. Yeah, by me. I am. I think I need to apologise for all the Tony fans because if I have ever absent any one of your fans, last, last stream, I have to apologise because I think... It was way too late. I walked myself back and I was like, what the hell was I doing? Talking over everyone. It was terrible. That's not like me in real life at all. Like I know I talk a lot, but holy hell, that was next level. So I didn't apologize to everyone if you I, I, because I think I did talk over everyone. And I'm just, you know, if for the past five days when we were on at work. All I can say to Tony was, Tony, can you please delete that reel? I feel sorry. Have you been beating yourself up about this? I did. Good. I did. Good. It's not that I'm not. <laughs> it's not that I have a sleep and nice sleep because I have worked bloody long shift as long as you. But wow, it was. I I was not happy with my performance. Shall we say? Gracie, you were great. Everybody loved you. You need. We're our own worst critic. Oh my God, and... I need more people like you to be on my side. Hold on. <laughs> Everyone's no, on your side. You just <coughs> you need to jump in the YouTube comments and have a read. It's such a um, such a kind, loving, caring place. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Well, for yeah. Gracie, it is, but not for everybody else. But yeah, you should. Yeah. Trust me, I'm seeing comments and people love you. It's the Gracie show. Everybody I did read some comment and a Merta comment and say, oh, a nice thing. And I appreciate that so much. But it's come for me watching myself back. I don't think that was acceptable. It, acceptable in my own household, not on live stream. And I just felt like, I just hope I didn't let anyone down in a way on, on his behalf. No, well, no. look at what Jody says. Do you want to read this super chat? Is no a... need to. No, oh. Jody saying no need to apologize is what's super fun. We all love ha we all love some Gracie, especially an out. Of I can't read that far, Tony. I'm blown. especially an out of control Gracie. No, I know, but you know, you had no idea <laughs> when we're actually not on live stream at all. We're in our household, it's such a fun house. And Stiff Kitten says that Gracie needs her own channel. You just Everyone keep. Everyone keeps saying this to me. Have you got personality for days? You just need to come up with a topic. See? I can talk about cats. Carl and Rudy. Carl Rudy, Rudy, Gracie, you were awesome. Everybody loves you. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but you know, but you know, when you're married to the awesomeness, you cannot <laughs> just not be awesome. Like, um, it, Look, Jamie, Jamie Roberts. <laughs> I, I don't know if, if you're part Roberts, of Roberts, are we family or what? Yeah, are we related? I don't know. But he he's just jumped straight on and gone, this is gonna be funny. No, 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 no. It can't be that funny like the last one. I was behaving myself all afternoon, so there you go. It won't be that it won't be that loose as a goose at last one. It was it still be good. You weren't loose as a goose. Oh <laughs> I God. was loose. Um Sal Vader is my Sal, hello. buddy Sal. Uh, just That's in time cool. to get off work. He worked night shift. He he was at the iconic con kind of debrief decompression meeting we had this last morning. night. Uh, or yeah, this morning for me, last yeah. night for him. So he's just finished night shift. So uh, thanks for being here, Sal. It's very uh... yeah, night shift. Oh, I don't know if we can handle it. Jamie quite... Roberts here. This is nice. Oh, you said that already, right? Sorry. No, yeah. no, that's a different comment. Same guy, different comment. This is a, what a great couple together. You bounce off each other so well. Wow. Oh, see, thank you. Bounce. Well, not that hard, Tony. <laughs> but no, thank you so much. That's so nice because. Did you did you just tell everyone on public YouTube that I'm huge? Yeah. <laughs> Not huge, Jackman. You're just huge. This just in. <laughs> it just sounded. What did you say? Not huge, Jackman. Jackman. No. Just, you're just huge. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Wolverine. No, you're not. But yeah, so like seriously, I was. I felt like I'm so now want to be on want to be on live stream a lot more. <laughs> Because when we used to work like crash roster, I felt like every time I come home, he was already on. Tony could be already on something. By the time he come out of it, I'm already cooking dinner. I'm ready for bed. I used to work Monday to Friday, not anymore, bitches. So now I'm on the same <laughs> roster, as Tony. This is could get very dangerous because you guys are gonna get bored of me pretty quickly. Yeah, you need you need your own channel. Stop in. It, nah. It's it's like it, nah. I like to insert myself <laughs> on your channel. So it's, they see me, they're fine. When they don't see me, they're still fine. I feel I feel like Analog Toys now has a terminal illness and me. it is crazy. Yes, yeah, me. She's infesting it. It's like I don't know nothing about toys, but I want to be but on I wanna all be on the it. live stream. Yes. Yeah. No, I did say the time, you know, if you come up with something, some sort of topic that I don't know, I might not in I might not be interesting. It had to be something that I could joy and just like have a joy out of it. So I like I say I'm not <coughs> enjoy I'm, enjoy my joy. Yeah, I'm will I will enjoy your joy, but I'm like I <laughs> most of it, I just felt like I wanna be like Melinda. <laughs> I wanna know every single question anyone ever Everybody asked. wants to be like Melinda. Everybody wants yeah. to be like Melinda. But we can't. No, There's we, only one she Melinda. She's a bloody trophy wife that everyone wants no. as a toy. <laughs> Like, you know, community, if you ever going to marry someone, you want someone to be like Melinda. Like, she, you, if you go, what? Melinda will, she's quick to admit she, there's a bunch about toys she doesn't know. She's not an expert. Yeah. That's but not Linda, her that, field. That is also a like very small chunk of it that she doesn't know. Most of it she does know. But uh, if you ask me, it'll be this much that I well, know. That's, that's just yeah, because of how you grew yeah. up and everything. And, M M Melinda is a she is a nerd. She's watched Star Wars. Yes. Grace does yes. not watch Star Wars. I took right. a uh, my, my mistake. I took her to see. I wanted her to see Star Wars, but I took her to 
Um, the Phantom Menace 3D. 3D, and we walked out after about 10 minutes. Look, yeah. guy, don't shoot me now, and don't shoot each channel because I didn't like it. You don't have but to. Because I actually do. I like more thing that's more like true, rock, like true crime or something more like relatable. Yeah. Something that actually happened in like true story, <coughs> not sci-fi. You're gonna murder me. But that that's the worst place to start. I mean, that's like starting somebody off watching Star Trek for the first time on Star Trek the Motion Picture. It just it's not gonna work. That nobody's gonna <laughs> like that. Because I feel like it doesn't make sense for me. Right. Because I didn't watch from the beginning and I just I actually went there half an hour. I just felt like I wanna kill Tony. If it was a date he wanna take me, I'll kill yeah. him. <laughs> I do. Oh, you I got another great. you got another super chat from Jody. We do. He says, uh, Retro Blasting has broken Vader as the disruptor. Lyo Convoy has the bird as a disruptor. Analog has Gracie. And we love all three of them. Oh, thank you, Jody. Well, you are so high. So you have now been categorized by a bird puppet who has a man <laughs> stuck up his ass <laughs> to control his mouth and an action figure with his with arms missing. But yeah, I think Jody had a bad attitude. He an asshole. Like yes. He has broken. a bad attitude. Yeah. It's yeah. me. Vader. When I'm broken Vader. It's me when I'm very tired. So. <laughs> thank you, Tony. But no, thank you. Thank you, Jody. It was so, that was so nice of you. And also, it was so nice to see you last live stream. I think um, get to see everyone on the same panel. But because I, I did say to Tony, I said, oh my God, I have never met Belinda. I have never been on a live stream on with Melinda. Melinda. Yeah, I said Melinda. I said Belinda. I said Melinda. Can you stop correcting me? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but yeah, like I say, I keep saying this on it. I have never met her because I keep like the way her knowledge was just so big. And you know, like it was just, it's just like Michael and Melinda, it's just so reflecting to each other. Like he's saying something, she'd be able to answer. And <laughs> like, Tony, don't ask me anything technical question. I'm not answering it. So how do you make rice the way you do? They call rice cooker. <laughs> you used to say rice cooker. And then the, when, oh, the, I when, when you had to go back to Thailand the, the, other, the other year for the funeral, I, I tried to cook rice for Zen and I just cocked it right up. It's a hammer to it. It's just not good. It's literally everyone should invest in yourself in like rice cooker. It's so easy, but also we grow up in the Asian way. So if you put your fingertip on, on the top, after you put it, like you obviously clean it, you rinse it a couple of times, like you do potato, you know, you want it to make like the water is clear, not murky. As soon as it's all clear, are you listening? Are you taking note? Where, yeah. you, where's your note? Um, I'm away next. I'm away next month, Tony. So take note. So yeah. So as soon as it's all clean, you put all the water in, and then what my mum taught me is put the fingertip. Well, what, what, I'll do that finger, not that one. That one. So <laughs> you, <laughs> whatever finger. So we use the one of the finger, and you know we got one of the quarter, one of those. So you put the top of your finger on the top Careful. of sorry on the top of the rice, and you go. One, not two, just one. But also depending on what rice are you cooking. You do one what? Is the rice that deep? Is the water uh, that deep? No, this, so the water on, so if you put your finger on the top of the rice. So what's the first knuckle? Yeah, the first knuckle. So that's all. My mum taught if me If you do that, what? Finish the, if you, if you put your finger into the rice, then what? So the water needs to come up to the third knuckle. Okay, okay, now I understand. That, that's the and part that's I didn't get. Well, and all, what you need to do, you need to put it on cook, not on warm. So you might not right. get your rice cooked. But, yeah, so that's all. That's what my mom taught me, and I've been learning ever since. But that's also it, it could be it could go very. If you cook jasmine rice, you might need to go put water a bit less. If jasmine can cook her own rice. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was such a bad joke. Uh, no, but also <laughs> it was. But if we cook like basmati, you know, the long grain is more giving. But it, you tend to put have to put more water in there, so it, that's all. I, that's that's all I need to do. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Stiff Kittens Reviews says, Cooking with Gracie, that's the name of the channel. Hmm. There you go. That could be something I could do because I am very passionate about cooking. Not when I'm on shift, though. <laughs> Cook all the time. Anyway, look, people are here to talk about toys, and I want to talk about <laughs> toys. Now, you've got your apology out of the way. Thank God for that. I felt better. Now I want to talk about some of the amazing prototypes that I that every single one of them on this table. Um, well, the Captain's Argon here with the box I purchased, but all of the prototypes have been gifted to the channel very, very kindly. The first thing I want to talk about is okay. Action Man's gripping hand. How good that is that? That's amazing. It is. So for those of you who don't know the story, in 1972, um, Action Man had been around for about six years and they were setting Action Man up on a display at Toy Fair and the head of the research and development department was really, because before, before this gripping hand, it was like kind of rubberized and flexible. Yeah. He had fixed hands that look like that and they'd try and put the gun in his hands and he wouldn't hold it very well and he would drop it. So Bill Pugh was trying to set up at the toy fair and he was like, this, this is not working. This, this is frustrating me. This must be frustrating. For the kid. The, the consumer. Yeah, the kids who, who are buying these things. Um, and he came back from toy fair and he came into Bob and he said, we need to make Action Man a gripping hand, like a flexible hand. And they... Um, came across a new material called Craton, which was kind of like a rubber, where if you would bend it, it would retract back to its original position. Yeah. So it had really good um, properties of elasticity. Now I'm getting technical. <laughs> so Bob got the job of sculpting Action Man's hand, but um, because he's right-handed... He basically copied his left hand and he said he looked at his left hand. And what they would do back in the day is everything that they would make would be four times larger than the Action Man product. And then they would pantograph it down. So yeah. it's not quite human size because human size would be six times larger. It was yeah. only four. Um, but when Bob sculpted it, it's got, you know, the lines in the yeah, hand. Yeah, you can see if, the line of hand and everything. You know, if you get one of those. It's just so detailing in a way, that how he did it. Because, look, I don't know so much about toys. Sorry to interrupt again. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't know so much about toy. but then when Tony received these, like, you know, prototype of uh, Bob hair, and I'm just like, the detailing that was put in it, he must spend an hour. Bob's you know, an artist. He's a true artist, uh, yeah. yeah. We, we, I would got to that when we went back to England and we'd never get to meet him, like, right. um in person, yeah. but because I know Tony did have spent somewhat of time with, with Bob and doing all that um, story action man with him, and he spent a fair bit of time, and I'm just like, when we went there, with our time was so short, because I did ask Tony if, we, if, I'm, if I'm going to get to meet Bob, it's all, our time was way too short, we're way too far away from where he leave, and I'm sort of like, I just want to, like, obviously thank you, for thing you know that he did for Tony then, but then after that he did so many things, but then he sent Tony this, and I'm just like, what a generosity, how kind is he as a person? It's like, oh well, I had a joy of it. Now you can have a joy of it. And Tony been put it in the cabinet ever since. This thing had never come out of the cabinet ever. Except for some videos. Yeah, you, know, you, you take it out, you put well, it what, back in. What, what happened? I, I went to England in 2011 to film all the interviews for the Story of Action Man documentary. And I wasn't even sure if Bob still owned the original sculpting, which, which he does. Yeah. Um, and it's a very funny, like, um, really dark green colour. It's the material it was made from. But basically, he from that original molding that he still owns um he had someone do a cast of a, like a rubber cast of it and he produced i i thought it was like you know a dozen or something it turns out later i mentioned mm. it in a video once it was like no i made like four of them um 
complete you know so, so this this is not the original we, as i said it's cast in a very um uh very, a very un unusual very dark green gray color um but this is cast from the same mold there's only like four of them that exist and when bob gave this to me it was made out of solid white plastic and you know the white was not the same color as the original mold and i i didn't dare to try and kind of paint it that color. And I mm. actually asked Bob, I said, what if I paint it in a flesh color so it actually looks like Action Man? Um, and I, I mounted it on this stand and I made this label up which says um, Action Man's Gripping Hand Sculpted by Bob Breakin, the chief designer of Action Man for 17 of the yeah. seventeen of the 18 years he was in existence. So I think Genius. that's a Yes. Uh, yes, Carl Rudy, totally agree. Bob I agree. Is a top man, what a gent. So, like 100%. Absolutely. He's and so he, generous. You answered Bobby Collins' question here. He was asking if the prototypes have flexible rubber modeling clay. So, yeah. that answers the question. Uh, yeah, it was it was a modeling clay. And this one, this one's hard plastic. It's. So, he's not soft. Solid. No. Well, okay, guys, he's going to be my. It'll watch me now. You, can, you guys can prove me that I touch it because Tony never. Ever let me go into this key's cabinet. I can't go in when he's not home. If he doesn't know, he doesn't hurt him. But wow. <laughs> so hard, eh? Yeah. No, he's good. But the one time that I'm gonna You're tell not you, interested. I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Oh, here we go. So I think this is gonna be like probably about six, seven years ago. So we moved into our house when we moved to Port Hedland probably about six years, six and a half years ago. So we've got a four bedroom house. Obviously Tony want one of his one of the spare bedroom to sit up on his thing. And I said, yeah, yeah, no worry. Which is he locked from the outside. And I think one day he would leave it unlock. One of the cat went in. For some reason one of the um the figure was fell. Mm. So I sat them up straight up. And he come home and he was like, did you touch my toy? <laughs> I could tell someone would be messing with my stuff. And yeah. I'm just like, yeah, I did. It, it fell. And I felt scared because I just felt like, oh my God. <laughs> I felt scared. I, I did feel scared. And he was like, you touched my toy. You're not scared of me. I'm, I'm scared of you. But, no, you should be in most way, but... Yeah, but I'm... I'm not a violent person. I'm not you violent. are in, you are incredibly violent. I'm not violent. You, you hit him all the time. You really do. You hit him a lot. You punch him well, yeah. a lot. Yeah. Have you ever seen his black eye? None. Right in the ego most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> right in there. Well, you're smart enough to hit him where it doesn't show, you know, body punches and stuff in the middle of the night. He wakes up. What was oh, that? It was just my you whole, trust me, I hit where it hurt. Yeah, see? I know. And I feed them to the duck. <laughs> the I duck. Cut them off. Feed them to the duck. Okay, PG live stream, please. It is PG. PG. I didn't say what part of my. It could be your finger. It could be your toe. It could be your ears. Just if, I, 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 I don't want to assume everything, Michael. Like <laughs> Mo, Mona seems like a, a beautiful woman, and I, I thank you. Hope and pray every day that you have a very love-filled, enjoyable marriage. But I come home from work most days and get told, like, look at me sideways and I'll feed your dick to the ducks. <laughs> she, well, Mona, Mona's half Sicilian, so she gives me the don't let, don't make me get out my knife, don't make me get out my gun. She'll just <laughs> threaten me with those things. Lucky I don't have a gun. Language. <laughs> See, he is, he is scolding you a little bit. But you, know, yeah. you wanted the but live he, stream. He's he so damn lucky I don't have any gun because he, he loses his leg from his limb by now. No, no, no. James Goldberg is correct. He said Tony is a battered spouse. Yes, I am. I I've been putting up with physical and mental abuse. How am I gonna come back from this? Like you tell everyone I beat you up. I don't. Now I'm gonna start to, guys. If Tony gonna be not gonna be in the live stream next time. You know if where a, he went. Hospital. If a big, if a big tough SAS guy can't take a Thai chick hitting him every once in a while, then you know we got. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, 
Mate, the, I'll, I'll tell you, the, the Taliban had nothing on this woman. No. <laughs> I agree. Like, no, no. And, that, and they, they were, they were. They were bad. They had, they had game. They were game for a fight. They were terrible. No, no. But, guys, just to, just to like, oh, like, clarify, I have never hit Tony. We know. We're just, we're, jo- we're joking. I have. No, you have <laughs> one. It's cute, like a cute one. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it's, it's a cute spank, not not hurting one. James We're Salzburg. We're going to chat here. Whee! James Salzburg <laughs> says, I have to be careful. I built my wife an AR-15. Oh, <laughs> would you? Do you know what an AR-15 is? It's that one that... <sighs> yeah, I thought you were going to think it was a car or something. Um, yeah, it's it's like the gun I carried in Iraq, very similar. Mm-hmm. You should be so worried if you've been one of those. <laughs> Sal, I don't understand your comment. I don't know that what that is either. I was trying to figure it out. ISIS. Is that what you mean, ISIS? No, he's, he's all right. I think he was trying. I, th- I think he might have mistyped, maybe. No, I don't think he did, would turn ISIS into was was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. We turn is, is, is into was was. <laughs> you would wipe them out. Sal, Sal, that that was that was a great joke. It was the the us reading the typo that messed it up. I'm sorry, buddy. No, it's so good. And and early is you know, it's for me. It's early, so I'm I'm not quite awake yet. So, oh really? What time is it? There? It's only turning seven o'clock in the morning now. I was up at oh, five. Oh, for you. I did no. <laughs> a live stream on Iconic Con at quarter to four in the morning, man. I know. I know you did. And he was there moderating as usual. Yeah. I, yep. I got up I got up at a four AM for Tokyo Toy Bastard one. So yeah, I know what you mean. It's all good. Yeah, but I, I feel like you guys are so commitment when you say you're gonna be somewhere and sometimes you just you know, even though you're not there physically. This is the hardest working unpaid worker in the world no not at all talk about you a lot no totally incompetent but (laughs) (laughs) no i'm 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 not even close to being the hardest non-paid worker in the world this is no but i did want to talk about you a lot how much oh like excluding like i'm not talking like red cross volunteers (laughs) but but, but, but in the world of youtube no but yeah he did talk about you a lot how he appreciated everything you've done how you know how you do a lot for his channel because i'm a useless one i can't do most thing you do i actually not have time you wouldn't be interested you can't do it you just don't want to i just don't have time tony yeah here jody jody stayed up till 5 a.m some days to to watch the panel so oh my god jody welcome to my world because when that iconic one was on like I say in the last live stream, I felt like I lost Tony most of my most of that week because he was just asleep in the funny time and he always just come like if I cook something for dinner, he won't eat the same time. He not, Tony doesn't normally eat the same time as us anyway. I just cook and I just, you know, put it in a plate, wrap it up, he eat when he wants. Mm-hmm. But I felt like that iconic on week was I just I still gonna have to go to work. When I come home, Tony already in like spare room sleeping, and I felt like when is he when because I actually don't know the schedule for the next live stream, so I felt like I'm have to be very quiet. I don't wake him up. I was trying to keep her up to date with the schedule and when the next live stream was, but um, I got confused myself. So, <laughs> um, Brendan Haley, hello, Brendan. Says my partner carries a gun at work, so I make sure my body armor is at home. <laughs> My superannuation is pretty good. That's great. And Sal says, most of us behind the scenes people didn't sleep or slept very little for the first couple of days. Um, for the whole thing, man, I did not sleep properly for the whole th- I was exhausted at the end. No, you were just like, having... Like, not special forces selection levels of exhausted. Yeah, I know, but you, you just know, that, that, good... that, that kind of exhaustion would just kill a mortal man, but um, you know, now that I'm in middle age and you are middle age, you know, sp- what I just don't know, you heard me, yeah, but I'm not having a crisis. 
midlife crisis, you sure? And Grayson. Oh, I was going to make a really bad <laughs> rap then about no, better not. a midlife crisis and Gracie killing ISIS. <laughs> oh, that would not be good. Oh. But yeah, so I just, I, he was not, you were not sleeping okay. We obviously sleep in separate rooms. Oh, which was amazing. How good was that? Don't I got have to, to. Don't have to hear you snore. <laughs> Tony, I don't fart. snore. Fart. No. Oh, well. Come on, you fart in bed a lot. No, I don't. I'm not like you. Oh my god, I've got so much thing worth to say, but I'm gonna shut up because it's gonna be banned. <laughs> Rolling no, Flores no, is, in, is in in <laughs> Rolling Flores is in Utah. It's five AM there, so you gotta five AM. You have a big fan to get up that early for you. Yeah. But also like we woke up pretty hello, late. Hello hello from Port Headland. Hello, Utah. Yeah. But seriously, we woke up quite late this morning. We normally wake up like I was well when I say I wake up early, I didn't go to bed until eleven thirty last night. And I still wake up at six o'clock, which is just a little bit like Ugh. But yeah, I, I did do really well. Tony left me alone last night with his friend. You went to bed. Oh my god. Right. I need to go to it. Tell them this story. You What's an all story? <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell them the story, and I'll be back. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette now. <coughs> no, yes, Tony, no, no. Yes, I am. I say no. I <laughs> I'm your wife. So I say no. I'm the boss. Um, but so yeah, last yesterday was our last day of the swing. So we do twelve hour days, five days on, bloody five days off, four days on, five days off, something like that. So last. Yes, it was my first day of my last swing. Like, no, last day of my first swing. Sorry, get it mixed up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know how I survived this 12-hour day. It was quite long for me because me and Tony work on the same shift and I'm, I'm obviously not organising. Since I have to go to school, he been bloody amazing, helping everything, and I'm just like, that's it, last day. We normally go into someone else's house. You know, just for a cup of drinks and then we just come home. But last time I was like, oh, to make it easy, it might just go to the pub on the way home. So we went to the pub. We had, I had three drinks, which is like, I have never seen the smaller glass of wine in my whole entire life. I was disappointed. Disappointed. So I had three glasses of wine. I'm, like, I'm going to drive it home because it was, it was smaller than that. Wow. And I was just like, it was $10. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. <coughs> So yeah, I'm just like, yeah, no worries, Tony. I'm just going to go home first. I'll see you at home. Yeah, Tony's literally just following me on the way home when I left. So we got back here. Tony friends, uh, Tony crew just said, oh, can I pop over? I said, yeah, no worries. Um, I made sure Sen got dinner, hit lunch, and pack. And I'm just like, oh, my God. That wine never tastes so good when you just come out of the really long shift for the five days. You need to make sure you be, you know, fit for work and stuff. And I'm just like, oh, my God. That is so good. We sit down and have a drink. We've got home probably like seven, uh, six thirty, um, about ten to eleven. I'm like, Shane, hang on. We see Tony Crew. I'm like, hang on one minute. Where's Tony? He took himself to bed. Wow. He just off and went. I'm done. I'm out. So this hasn't happened for ages. Tony is a bloody notorious. To invite her to our house and then fucked off. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, that. No, but he, I think he's a pro obviously overly tired, yeah. had a couple of drinks. And I'm just like, Shane, I think he's gone to bed. So yeah. I took Shane upstairs to see him in bed and he's like, oh, like doing bloody catching fly. Um, it was hey. so good. I got some video of him. I asked him all sort of questions. He was like, eh. Where's the video? I actually got a video on my phone. <laughs> you didn't know, did you? But yeah, you left me again. Yeah, but if he's tired, I mean, is it more rude to say, hey, get the fuck out of my house, I want to go to bed? Or yeah, I'm because just gonna I would go just say, get the fuck out of my house and go, I'm go to bed. Well, but Tony, for Tony, Tony just leave. But he done this this many times. <laughs> it's, it's clearly his method, you know? 
He's an Englishman. <laughs> he wants to be polite. He has guests over. He's not going to make them leave, so he'll just go to bed, you know? But he done, but he done well because I could never, ever leave my friend there, even the, like to say, even my host. I couldn't, I can just say, oh, I don't care how drunk I am. I think to make sure my friend actually be able to get home, get them out the doors before I'm going to bed. But I told him, oh, Grace, be fine. Which is, I was. He's my good friend. I know, and I loved him. I have no problem hanging out with him. And he obviously got in to that state that he needed to go home as well. So I have to walk him home and then I walk back to my house. And I woke up this morning and was like, that was rubbish. James Salzburg. This this is what it was. Yeah, this is perfect. It was a, the Irish, the Irish boy. <laughs> yeah, I do that all the time. If I'm going out with my friend, and then they don't see me all night long, they, they, you know, we hang out all night long, and then we don't. They don't see me after that. They text me the next morning. So, oh, you leave? Yeah, I did. I had enough. Okay, so the next prototype on the table oh. is. <laughs> The uh, you can't see that very well. The the, the light doesn't show it; really. it's re reflecting off it. Um, but this is the Captain Zargon head that was sent to me by uh, Greg Hughes. Greg Hughes, um, even in Bob's words, was the best designer that Palatoy ever had. Um, mm -hmm. He took Action Man into the future. He designed this amazing action figure. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, Captain Zargon. It was there, like the Action Man toy line didn't have characters beyond, you know, an Action Man was an everyman. He was what you wanted him to be. Yeah. Um, but then when they, after Star Wars and they went into space with the Space Rangers, he designed this bad guy pirate for them. Is that and what, behind would, his helmet? Would you, would, you, would you date that guy? I don't know. I can't see his face. I I like date people when I can see his you eyeballs. Can't see his face. Stuff. That's his face. But he got shit on it. <laughs> he's, a, he's a space monkey thing. What about what about his speedos? They look pretty good. Yeah, his speedo not my thing. Sorry, Tony. Zargon does have a crutch on him. So did Vader, though. I mean, he had quite the cod piece. The cod, yeah, it's called a cod piece. Hey, a cod piece, like the fish cod. I, I'm not exactly sure why. I'm sure somebody. In yeah, the I, don't, I don't. I don't know why. So, someone quickly Google what the piece. etymology of cod piece is. The etymology. <laughs> that's that's the from the earlier cod scrotum from Old English. Cod, bad, cod. <laughs> okay, I don't know what Tony was searching. It's come up different thing. <laughs> a pouch attached to a man's breeches, <laughs> close-fitting hose to cover the genitals, worn in the fifteenth and sixteenth century and the twenty-fifth century by Captain Zargon. Isn't it called a fanny pack? No, fanny it's packs not, really. It's a bum bag. It's a bum bag. Yeah. yeah, I call it's those like, it's like bags. armored underwear. Mm. Like you, you would yes. wear armored underwear, but um, you don't need it because you've got three cats who cock block all the time. No, no, he didn't. Oh, no. God, we're not going there again. No, Tony, uh, Tony, Harry hasn't been very well. She hasn't been coming to bed at all. Georgie, she was in bed last night. Georgie was obviously not butter. If we in bed or not in bed, he was fine. Mm. Curly, never in bed anyway, so no one cockblocking you. Wilson Tort, Wilson Torta, that's funny. Torsa, sorry. Yeah, Tortosa, yeah. Tortosa. Uh, so that he and Broken wow. Bader should hang out together. Yeah, I, I think Grace and Broken Bader should hang out together. Who's he? He's the armless action figure character from Retro Blasting. That, that channel that I never watch on repeat all the time. Are you being funny or not? I can't tell. I'm being sarcastic. I'm a bit being sarcastic. I watch the. I watch like every video at least twice. I know. Um, Jamie Roberts has a question. I feel like we relate that. Gracie, Jamie, what the hell? Come serious, on. serious question now. Okay. How do you feel about Mr. Tony's new forever immortal figure in Valiverse? 
How many words you want me to put in it? If you want me to put in one word, prowl. Oh, very nice. And I just, I just feel like this is something out of your, like someone. It's he uh, obviously Tony Dream coming to the real, like real life, and this is probably something he never, he never thought it would ever happen. I think it could be in anyone dream who collecting toys. You know, obviously dreaming of yourself to be on a shelf selling one day, you know, like Toy R Us. Is it Toy R Us? Yeah. Yeah. Toy R Us or so, somewhere like that. I think. Or websites. Yeah. Or anyway. One day. But also, I felt like you be bloody. What's the word? I'm, uh, the happy, it's not the word I'm looking for. It's just something out of. Well, Overwhelmed. Big time. That in 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 next three months time, some of you guys will have a little Tony, not a little Tony, little Tony. Everywhere. It's fucking weird. In your household. And you guys ordering it, and I'm like, you want some of these? Who started the hashtag tiny Tony. tiny Tony Toy? Tiny Tony. Tony. <laughs> Who did that? Well, I was, I remember coming up with the Tiny Tony Toy Time that we're going to have, you know, the Tiny Tony Toy Time. Tiny Tony Toy Time. How many tea in that thingy? Four. And, and have, have, have you and Mona agreed on how much time per week you're going to spend on Tiny Tony Toy Time? Oh well, God. see, I'm, I'm going to have one. I'm just going to have him on my shoulder like a parrot. And then only I can hear him talking, and I'll be like, "Stop talking to me!" And I'll just keep back, leave me alone. And then back to the conversation. He'll just be sitting there all the time, like, like a Monty Python sketch, but with an action figure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jody says um, Grace has complaints about the design. The action figure's rear end is too small, according yes. to Gracie. Mm -hmm. If you actually want my actual, like, actual measurement. I can get you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need actual measurement. It's just very peachy. It's just round. Rolando <laughs> Flores says, we're getting a desert rat. When do we get a desert fox? Oh. Yeah. I kind of like that name, actually. That's you, the desert fox. Because, okay, I just I did watching something, like a trash show. Uh, she's got to be the jungle fox. No, no, no. no. Shut up. So, you know, banana trees everywhere, and yeah, yeah, but just, snakes that eat your cat, and not, yeah. So, I've been well, I've been trying to catch up with all my like TV show when I'm when I'm at work. I obviously don't have time to watch it. I literally come home, dinner, shower, and bake. So, I'll keep all my recorded show to watch it when I'm not at work. So, today I literally hasn't left my couch since nine o'clock in the morning. I was in. To let the couch when I'm coming on here. I've been watching Shao Sunset. So one of the one of the episodes, I don't know, you it's actually you the US show. I don't know if you know that or not. What's it called? Uh Shao Sunset. It's about Shower all these of Sunset. Shah's Shah Shah like, Oh um, Shah's of Sunset. Okay, yeah, yeah. no, I'm not. Is, is, I love all the drama reality, Is it reality yeah. TV? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. it is a reality TV. And I'm literally and as I said, the one of the episodes was just saying, ah. Oh, what would your sexual fantasy? They ask it on a TV show, and I turn around and, and I see Tony just sitting there, looking like that. I'm like, <laughs> I don't do that. And I was just saying, "What your sexual fantasy?" And what did I say? You tell him. You tell him. So you look good in a Wonder Woman costume. <laughs> there you go. Lasso of truth, tie you up the whole deal, you know. <laughs> Oh no, no lasso of truth. No, <laughs> no. No, but that was something that no, Tony would uh, never. Wonder ask. Woman with no accessories. Because <laughs> she's got the lasso of truth. She works the lasso with around you. them, and they have to tell the truth. And I don't want to tell you the truth. Um, Lyra Convoy, good to see you here. And Morning. um, okay, so do, do you know how big my action figure is going to be? Smaller than you. <laughs> yes, it's an action figure. This big? This big? This big? Smaller. No, it's obviously smaller than this so one. So there's been a, 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 I wouldn't say long running, but, you know, there's been a, an ongoing joke about about the size of the action figure mm -hmm. because it's six inches 
And I kept telling everyone, don't tell Grace it's six inches or she'll know that I've been lying to her for all these years about how long six inches is. Ha! 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 Fucking just caught it on then. <laughs> Took you a minute, didn't it? <laughs> I'm going to say something really bad. But I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Wilson, <laughs> that's good. Is it actually six inches? It's the tiara, right? Troops love the tiara. Yes, yes. Wonder Woman has a tiara. Is it? Yeah. Well, you can get me one. I can show you. And wear it. <laughs> you can get me one. You can get me one. Okay, we need to go Linda Carter, Wonder Woman. All right, not even. This, this <laughs> was my childhood crush. Like, oh, yeah, real young, yeah, you know, before I even knew what stuff was about, you just knew something, something made uh, you feel funny about her, you know. So, this outfit, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that outfit, <laughs> as he breathes heavily. Where am my ass gonna go in the short shorts? It won't hold anything, Tony. I'm like in I the Star get. Spangled panties. I mean, you'll be fine. Okay, okay. Here's an idea for Iconicon 2022. We do a Wonder Woman panel. Mm -hmm. You're dressed up as Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. and so am I. <laughs> as a Wonder Woman, I'll do that live on YouTube. Where you are can... you going to put your junk? <laughs> <laughs> You, Gracie, you can give a whole uh, makeup tutorial, show how to put makeup on Tony, you know, lipstick, eyeshadow, I'm the whole thing. I'm going to put some lipstick on. Obviously, you're going to be some eyelashes. His, <laughs> his eyebrow needs to be fixed. Yeah. Sal, <laughs> so, 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 this is so weird. His childhood crush was Ula from Jabba's Palace. <laughs> so not, not, not Slave Layer. Is it Jabba the Hutt? Yeah, Jabba the Heart. He had this the fatty floppy one. Yeah, yeah. He had this this dancer there, this like this green skinned woman. And like to be fair, like, you know, pretty face, pretty body, but she had like these um tentacles, huge, like penises Almost, on her head. Oh, it's like a long ten, like a long tentacle. But yeah, 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 yeah. At least yeah, he didn't pick called, that. They should have called her codpiece head. <laughs> At least Sal didn't pick that chick with like. The six breasts that was, you know, like 400 pounds. That dancer that was like yeah. high stepping and stuff. Oof. Six breasts. You ever seen Total Recall? No. Well, no. In Java's Palace, there was that one. There was a broad there with six breasts as well. Oh, yeah, heavy yeah, set. yeah, yeah. Yeah, she didn't have a mouth, but. No, no, no. They were like, she had six tube tops or three tube tops on, kind of. You need to point it. No, no. Look, every time I, I see that part of the scene in Return of the Jedi, it just reminds me of my time in Thailand. <laughs> what, sick tits? <laughs> oh, hey, definitely not mine. Where did you see that shit? I don't know. This is why he doesn't want the lasso of truth used on him. Um, yeah, yeah, but sick TV Salvator. Here we go. They're actually called Leku, or however you say that in Huttese. Leku, yeah. Leku, yeah, but sick TV. <laughs> I don't know what to do with two. No, I think, right. I think those, no, no, I think that that's the tentacles that he was referring the, the, to the on thing that's gone to you hate. yeah, yeah, the not the really thing off your head. Oh, Tony, stop it. No, I've, let me show you a picture. Right, we've got to Google this. Ula Jabba's Palace. Ula Jabba. That's a good choice, Bobby. Wilma was, yeah. Wilma, oh. Wilma's who you took home, and, and Princess Ardala was who you took to the bedroom. You know, that those were the two <laughs> on that. <account. laughs> no, she's got a really great body. Ula. They actually yeah, brought yeah. her back for the special edition because she's a dancer and she stayed fit. So they could just seamlessly put her back in from what was it, 83 all the way to 97. Oh, but she looked really? amazing. Yeah. Is that true? Or you just yes. oh. no, 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 honest to God. When it, when they came out with a special edition, there was some extra 
seen stuff they wanted to do with the rancor and whatnot. Okay, that's, that's my that's knowledge. Woman, that's the woman with six breasts. Yeah, yeah but to the best of my knowledge, George brought her back and they shot extra stuff and she was still fit and fine. Ah. You might want That's to what I heard. I don't think that's wrong. Are you controlling this stream now or what? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, William Tortosa says, ah, so where in Thailand was Tony? St so I wasn't stationed in He's Thailand. He's stationed in my room. <laughs> <laughs> you were in my condo. I wasn't in your room. You were in my room first, and then I was stationed in your room. So we're both stationed in each other's room. No, Tony doesn't station in any. I think Tony just goes just back to Thailand on leave. Um, He doesn't station there. Yeah. Uh, but to answer your question, where uh, it was in Pattaya, we were in Pattaya, the city of Pattaya, the city Jonathan, that never sleep. It like Las Vegas. Jonathan Redman has my back, so he says. Uh, oh, sorry, no, it's okay. He just says that the actress was back in the special editions, super ripped. Ah, nice. And uh, Jamie Roberts says, "Come on now, it's getting a bit sexy." Toys, toys, <laughs> toys. There you go. So now we move on to <laughs> the uh, pre-prepared for this. The SAS prototype action figure. Oh, so yeah. what I have here, um, this here is the original metal prototype. The metal prototypes were sculpted in four inches high because the actual figures were supposed to be three and three quarter inches. <laughs> so <laughs> Sorry, you lost me. <laughs> 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 Not the first time you've been distracted by four inches, but <laughs> <laughs> um, but be, because once they made the molds and they injected molded the plastic and it came out, it would naturally shrink. So they would sculpt them slightly larger. So this is the original metal prototype of the SAS squad leader. This here is the um, the resin prototype. He unfortunately has a broken leg because of the type of resin they were made of. Um, but both of these were on the display at London Toy Fair in January 1982. Wow. In addition to those, uh, Bob also sent me the original carded version of the SAS figure. Very rare to find. Not long until you eat one of those, honey. What? In an acrylic case? No. Oh, you're talking about my action figure? Yeah. Yeah, in an the acrylic same case. Color. Yeah, yeah. I, so do you know I've I've been now that I'm going to be Desert Rat. Mm -hmm. So Desert Rat. That's the original Desert Rat there. Yeah. With the shorts and yeah, socks. Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm not dressing like that. Nah. But because I'm going to be the original, I've got the figure. <laughs> but what the fuck? What is going on with the audio? My, my phone just started playing a YouTube video at random. But yeah, I, I, I'm glad you. I think um, I'm glad that Bobby put you in actually a full uniform, so, not bloody half ass uniform. So, so now, now that I'm going to be Desert Rat, I've been hunting around trying to get an original carded Desert Rat. Don't see any available, so I put the feelers out in a couple of Action Force groups that I'm in, and the guys are like or they're super rare, like all the ones that are left are already in collections. Um, and I'm like, so what are people paying for this kind of thing? And they're like, oh, last one that sold was like $1,500. Hey. Carded, yeah. Damn. That's a fucking Dyson. <laughs> there we go with the vacuum. I'm getting a, I'm getting a desert wrap before you get a Dyson, I'm telling you. Look, I can tell you that, Michael, when I get my, like, tax, when I'm, getting, when I'm getting my tack return next week, I'm buying myself a bloody Dyson I'm, because I'm not waiting for Tony. Because this he could be waiting forever. There so you rather go. than having an argument every time we're on a live stream, I'm going to go and get myself one. Oh, his money. <laughs> um, T. Gruffo says, was that Toy Galaxy calling? Um, I hope so because I just hung up on him. Um, <laughs> we're not fans of Toy Galaxy around here. No? No. No, not really. not really. What do you want to see on Iconicon 2022? I felt, first of all, I felt like I need to be more involved. 100%. I felt like I need to be more involved to know You more. didn't do 
bugger all. I do jack shit this year. Yeah. Um. So I need to do. I feel like I need to be a little bit more involved on the panel that it actually not like toy talking. I'm happy to jump on every now and again. Um, but by that time, you might go and work on Monday to Friday, and I'm be the one struggling to coming home from work. You know what I mean? So we ha- we had like a bit of a um, a debrief meeting. Uh, it was this morning. Yeah, tell everyone. This morning for me last night. Tell them. Right bit of like a debrief, kind of decompression type meeting. Um, there was Matt Swafford. There was Sal from Two. Were you there, toys. Michael? Were you there on that meeting this not. morning? I was not. No. I'm not a. I'm not a YouTube. Ch- I don't make content or anything. So I'm, yeah, it was I'm mainly like the hosting thing. channels that were there. So we had Lyo Convoy. We had Two Cents Toys. Um, obviously, Michael and Melinda. Tim Ward was there, uh, and we we're just going, you know, kind of talking about you know lessons learned and some things we wanted to kind of change for next year. Yeah, we we're actually going to offer a um, like a, a what well, I'm going to. I don't know if the other guys are going to as well, but we do. We talked about it a bit. For, you know, because we, we we really want to promote some of these new and up and coming channels, but some of them who do pre produced content normally mm-hmm. and haven't live streamed before, um, kind of you know they might have been a little bit out of their element, or that even if they do live streams, they may have been a bit out of their element doing a panel style live stream as opposed to just chatting about you know yes. what, whatever it is they're chatting about. Um, so I was. I suggested to the guys that we run kind of like a a, a course for these people. It was like, we'll, we'll do a course. Mm. Um, and I, I meant to joke with Michael, but I, I didn't get the chance. I was like, yeah, it, it can be the how to be on YouTube for 10 years and still not hit 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, not retro blasting. <laughs> I'm going to be there. I've been on five years and I'm at like 31,000. So... By that track record, when I get 10 years, I'll be at 60,000. But first of all, I felt like I have to give you somewhat of appreciation points because I felt like I think put, Tony put in a lot of time and his effort Huge. the day that he was starting. I didn't think – look, I never doubt, Tony, that it's never going to go big. I know that it would, but I didn't think it's going to like going to be like skyrocket as it is. And how he turned his hobby. It hasn't skyrocketed. It's mediocre at best. Yeah, but Tony, but every every person on your channel that you have love you for who you are, love you for your content. You know, yeah, they're all fucking nuts. I know, and that how good is that? But I think I just appreciate, you know, if I was your the YouTube watcher who actually watching you of your content, I would just be like, holy shit. How good is this? Like this guy, obviously got a full time job, and then spent all this time. I put a a lot of effort into my videos. We know, but quality does not translate into quantity, viewership, numbers, all all that stuff. I think someone asked me like, if 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 I was doing this to make, yeah, someone did. I need to answer that question about the cat. Sorry. Um, Sorry, interrupt. Gracie, did you get any cats yet? So no, um, me and Tony, we uh, Tony hate cat, and I love cat. We have three cats. What so we mean, got, so we compromise. Oh we yeah, got, any more? We got three cat. Yeah. No, I want more, but I don't want them to. I just hate you know the first inter, uh, introduction. They hate each other so badly. I I hated our first introduction. I think I think you met the wrong woman. That wasn't me. <laughs> no, I mean I, I hated the way I behaved. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But that's okay. Um, no, no, but yeah, yeah. We got three cat. If the, that you want to know. The first time that Grace ever met me, uh-uh. I spewed up all over myself in a go-go bar in Thailand. So attractive. So good. Yeah. Lovely. And she was like, I don't like that guy. Well, at least so she's ground it down over years. James Holtzberg, thank you for the super chat. He says, This community are all my friends. I look forward to every event. We don't need Gracie in a hot tub to get subscribers. <laughs> I'm glad because I don't have a hot tub to go in anyway. <laughs> I will not go in a hot tub. No. 
I wouldn't even go in a bath, let alone go in a hot tub. No. But yeah, but I mean, but I think um, you guys have no idea how much time Tony put in and he's put in a script, Jeez. making sure his video coming out amazing. Most of the time, I have to leave him alone because after that, he was just so like, concentrated on what he was doing. I'm in the zone. Yeah, he would, you always in the zone, which is a good thing. The danger zone. <laughs> Sorry, I watched Top Gun on Netflix the other night. <laughs> you know, Why? Top, Top Gun popped up on Netflix Australia the other day. I don't know if it's come out in America as well, but it popped up and I was like, I haven't seen that in years. And I, started, and I got like 30 minutes in and I was like, Man, this movie is so bad. And it was a, a the first time. Like, I always thought it was cheesy. Yeah. But watching it now, I'm like, this is really, really? bad film. <laughs> it's a bad, bad film. Really? Yeah. I, it, I it just, is a advert for male testosterone. Oh, it's they, I don't know why they have so few clothes on and why they're sweating all the time. I've never seen men sweat sweating, that man. much. <laughs> I know, but they're always glistening constantly and and disrobed a lot. Yeah, yeah. Ah. It's, it's it's a lot. It's it's what a little bit much. On a different note, I did watch. Okay. I hadn't watched it in years. I rewatched uh, the Seven Samurai, the the Kurosawa film. Oh, sorry. Is it out of my, it's sorry, Classic. Michael. It's out of my curiosity. Where are you from in America? In Pennsylvania, uh, East Coast. Were you were you born there? Yes. Yeah. Born and bred. Yes. Born and bred and raised. Yes. So, because I say this, honey, I keep saying that the the country that I ever wanted to go in, if I well, now COVID fuck everything now, we might never be able to travel again. But let's, I'm just hoping that we are. <coughs> I still keep this on, keep saying this only. I want to go to America. And then I just want to make sure that, you know, like if we are going, I get to like do like a pit stop here and there. A yeah. pit stop? Not yeah. pit. Not like pit. Oh. Pit stop. Like a pit. wee break. Stop. You need to go potty. <laughs> no, she <laughs> needs to see different places, I believe. <sighs> she wants to see all the different Kill places. Kill me now. Tony okay, was so talking here's about Pennsylvania. Hmm. here's Pennsylvania. Yeah. And then you go. So like Georgia. Yeah. Uh, oh, so you're, you're near you're Oh, near, you're near New York. New York. Yeah, I'm about where I live, I'm about a two hour drive from Manhattan. Ah. Yeah. Manhattan. Nice. So because I, I said to Tony, I'd give him a couple of places that I really want to go if we are going to so England. No, no, no. What's, what's, America. what's the name of the suburb? You live in a of, suburb or a oh, town? Oh, uh, you want to know the town? It's Myerstown, M-Y-E-R-S-T-O-W-N. I'm a, uh, about 20 miles from Hershey. Hershey's known because of the... Hershey! Hershey, Isn't that Hershey, 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 Hershey Pennsylvania. Yeah. Hershey. Yeah. We're about uh, maybe 18 miles from Hershey. Which was the guy in Band of Brothers that was from Hershey, Pennsylvania? Oh, uh, damn. I, I can't remember. I need to rewatch that. I haven't seen that in so long. I can't remember the characters' names. Yeah, I don't. So you, it's gonna take you two hours from from New York to get to you um, to your hometown, which yeah. is where we are now. The mm -hmm. closest town, a two hour drive. Right. And that all, all all the good thing happened, like KFC and like Hungry Jack <laughs> and all the good stuff. Because where we are, it's obviously like remote and really outback. When I say outback, the closest tower to are KOA. And you know, the, the next of that will be 600K away. So we are in the smack bang of nothing. It, w it was the biggest brother. Dick Winters is from Hershey, Pennsylvania. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, he, he, he grew up in a, um, uh, uh, um, a Mennonite family. Mm -hmm. Which a, a little bit like um a little bit like Amish. Mm. Oh, I love Amish. I, I watch all the Amish show all the time because I think I find it very fascinating of how they was growing up and I'm just like if it was me, I'd be gone by now. But anyway, it was not me. Keith Knight's here. Yep. Hey Crazy Keith Knight. How can 
But the, you, uh, so uh, you mind telling me a bit more because I know, I'm sure you probably tell me this before. What you do? I'm a buyer, a purchasing agent for a multinational welding. I, and well, just so you know, you're not working for BHP, are you? BHP? No, no. No, that's the company we work for. Yeah. I, 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 we had a private Skype. Well, I say private. There, there was a few people on, but it wasn't on YouTube. We had a Skype chat the other day, and um, I, I'm saying it's public on YouTube now. I was at work. Uh, I just walked around like a stack at eight and reclaimed five. Yeah. Showing guy video footage of all the mining and stuff. Yeah. When I was supposed to be at work. Well, you were at work. You were just giving a tour. Work. You were I giving a tour work. to your He was at your, work. He wasn't foreign working. friends. Yeah, right. How it was a okay. massive place. Unbelievable. Just uh, shockingly uh, big. What we're probably showing you is obviously not even the, the site what it is. I, I told him that's like a quarter of the size. Of the it was just so yeah. huge. Yeah, I showed. Yeah, I still got. I still get lost now. I, you know, that's why when our nephew, when our nephew was here last week, I just said to Tony, "Look, I would rather you take them on a tour because I would just get lost." But also, Tony knows I better than me. He obviously going to be better to take him like car dumper. Like we obviously should be able to go on a car, like you know, ship loader. But we, we I showed did. them the car dumper. Where well, the car dumper, that's what they call where they tip the trains over because the carriages are called cars, so they tip the car. Yep, car dumper. L largest one in the world. The only one, the only three car tipper. Yep. Yep, that's Jonathan the one. Redmond. That's that's a good point he brings up. So being Irish and hearing all these crazy distances from one place to another is mental. Top to bottom of Ireland is like four hours driving. <laughs> I get, so, uh, so. Can I tell you something funny? So the closest town for us is two hours, but it's two hours twenty minutes. It's to not. A it, it's a town. That's the nearest town. It's a, a town, and literally between here and there, there is nothing. Yeah. Desert. Yeah. But out, from here, out, bush to go to the central of WA, it took a sixteen-hour drive straight. And that and that no is, stop. And that is not adhering to speed limits. That's speeding most yeah. of the way. If you follow the speed limits, it would be like a 19, 20 hour yeah. drive to Perth. Yeah. It was so long. It was something out of the movie that you, know, you see the movie, it's all in an outback. You were like, what do you mean outback? If you are broken down, you stuff pretty much. You literally there until someone come and rescue you, or unless you mechanic. But yeah, I so do I. I was so fascinating how big it was. Yeah, Jonathan, we did that one. Um, sorry, I'm going to put you up. This. So, jo Jonathan, when I when I left the Australian Army, I was based in Sydney on the east coast, and um, I would fly home two or three times a, a year for leave and and whatnot. But when I actually left the army, I'd bought a car and I was like, I didn't want to sell my car. Well, you so got a dog, haven't you? I had a dog as well and I had to, had to drive it back. So all of my stuff got chipped over. So I mm -hmm. I left Sydney in the morning um, <laughs> with my Rottweiler on the back seat of my convertible. <coughs> and I started the great trek from <coughs> Sydney to Perth. And everyone told me it would take four and a half days, and I was proud that it took me three and a half days. Wow. Three and a half days. It's it's literally as big as America. Yeah, it's right. It's the way, how, yeah. how long would it take for you to drive to California? I was it's three it's roughly three thousand miles from coast to coast. And I, I was just this, looking this was four thousand one hundred kilometers, which is a bit less than three thousand miles. Less, but, yeah. So like two thousand eight hundred miles, yeah. So right. roughly Still, I was going to say, growing up, my my paternal grandfather lived in Joplin, Missouri, which is about half the width of the country, the the yeah. continent. Yeah, you yeah. know, so we would go there. He hated to fly for whatever reason. Um, a marine, you know, landed on Iwo Jima, scared of flying. Anyway, um, so he we would drive out there in the old 1974 Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser station wagon. You know, all of us could put a four by eight sheet of plywood flat in the back of that thing. We'd put yeah. a, a mattress in the thing, mom and dad up front, air, my brother and sister in the middle seat, me in the third seat looking backwards and, you know, just go out to chop. <laughs> I, I hate I, that looking backward. Can I just say that that actually sounds awesome? 
It it was it uh, honestly it was a lot of fun. that car yeah. in that time. Yes, yeah. this is the seventies. You know, you'd fill up the huge cooler. There'd be sandwiches and sodas and that yeah, kind everything of stuff. Good to go. Yeah, we we wouldn't. We'd only stop for fuel, you know, and piss break, and it had to be timed. You know, like if you're not done, the old man's driving away, so you start running. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, you know, arm out the window, the whole deal. I, I'm trying to think how long that would take. It looks, I just Googled it. It looked like about a 16 and a half hour drive from my, from where I am to there. So knowing so my old man. It just, it just he, so weird because it's sorry to interrupt, but because no. it's so weird because Thailand, Thailand map going uh, the length way, we're not, right. we aren't very wide. We probably want a smaller country in the whole wide world, but we stretch the upward way, not the no, no, no. country's way bigger than England. What are you on about? Uh, so England's a tiny country. So if we're gonna drive from where, from where, from Bangkok to Bangkok, Cop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Bangkok to the the, the to the Cock of the K, everyone. Cock yeah, of the K. Yeah. So yeah, if, if we're gonna drive from Bangkok to do the south or the south of Thailand. That would take at least eight hour, which is because um, you know all the even look at the map. Thailand was just so skinny on the way down and then fat on the way out. But then that's what it is. So it take eight hour the way down. But then my friend did it, so she she are drove. You, are you describing my physique like skinny on the way down to the? Hey, it's called pear shape on the way up. Tony, it's called pear shape. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. And then my friend did the uh, Bangkok to the top half, which is another eight hour. So if I'm going to drive from the top bit of the top of Thailand to the lower, the southern or the southern of Thailand will be 16 hour. That's what I did in our trip, driving from where we are to go uh, central Perth. So Perth, well, obviously, like Australia, probably like, 20 times bigger than my country, 20, probably more. Yeah. Like did, where, yeah. where Scuba Pete lives from, from me, right? he lives in Indiana. I'm not exactly sure of the city, but going out to the 500 so much as growing up, that's about, it says it's supposed to be about an eight and a half, nine hour drive. My buddy and I usually do it in around seven and a half, eight hours illegally. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that it's just a big continent you know we're you're used to whatever you're used to some people you know you're used to what you grew up with and your I'm surroundings really with um, yeah chat. sergeant slaughter's slaughterhouse says driving <laughs> through the nt which is the northern territory yeah c-u-n-t um, <laughs> i had to say it sorry <laughs> can you can, right this, this this is how batshit crazy australia <laughs> is right? they've actually launched a tourism campaign that's you know to encourage people to visit the Northern Territory. It sounds um, terrible. I, I say I say they've launched it like this was a year ago, but and they say um, um, can't wait to see you in the NT, and they on the screen they put C U N T. <laughs> Welcome Austra to Australia. Australians find that hilarious. Of I course, find it so funny. of course, I love it. I just. I couldn't I imagine how many What amazed with me is this like iconic American wrestler from <laughs> the 1980s says that WA is home, but he's currently in Queensland. So clearly, this is not Sergeant Slaughter. Perhaps this is Sergeant Slaughter's Slaughterhouse's caretaker. Or I'm sorry, I don't mean to insult you. I'm just making a joke. Um, your job shit. But yeah, I, I, I came across your channel recently and I was actually watching some of your stuff. He's got a lot of like promotional stuff for Size and Slaughter. Um, I had no idea he was a um, a fellow Aussie. Well, Aussie is the best slang. They've got some, some of the very good slang and I'm like... And Christopher Wharton has been like so... Chris, thank you for the compliment. He says, my thighs are like soft pillows. <laughs> I, I actually don't know who he's talking to at the moment. I think he was talking to somebody else, but <laughs> I, I'll take it anyway. That was so nice of him. 
Um, it's my mate Keith Knight. <laughs> Keith Why can says, you stop? Keith says, well, he's quoting Jody is in 16 hours, like I've been fucking Italy, mate. <laughs> Put me there for a beer or two, all right? Can't. <laughs> Tony, that was bad. <laughs> yeah, well. I've been, I've been hoping, um, I've been hoping Keith and I was going to jump on camera, but he's, um, he's late to the party. I think we might wrap this up soon. Yeah, I actually yeah, have man. to get to work here. Yeah, that's all yeah. good. I just, I just thought I, I jump in pretty quickly. Love it. Then... Everybody loves it. Look, we got, we have sixty-one people here watching, and you know, un, un know. Know. We, started I started, we started off at like forty, and then someone said something about Gracie in a hot tub, and it went on. <laughs> No, you don't see me in a hot tub. We don't even have a hot tub. Sorry. I, yeah, but I they, they to... heard that, and then at the moment they clicked on me and Michael Schaefer <laughs> were like talking about Zargon's cod piece, and they went, "Oh, wrong channel." There was a but good you know, comment. Going, it's, the, it's the difference between Tinder and Grinder, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Yes. <laughs> so I can't remember. It was a really good comment. They they suggested maybe having former veterans on a like a GI Joe panel. Like for oh, next yes, year, Iconicon. I, I that earlier, yeah. yeah. Thought that was a good idea. Yeah. I, 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 all the veterans that I know that do YouTube don't really do like. Um, so even though I, like Iconicon is not a toy based thing, it's right, but it is it is retro pop culture. I know a lot of veterans who do YouTube, but they don't do retro pop culture. It's, right. it's a really unusual fit. And mm -hmm. like to go to the guys from like um, Black Rifle Coffee Company or something, which is a YouTube channel that I watch. Um, actually, no, they, they may be all right, actually, because they're funny as hell. Mm. Yeah. But no, I don't, I don't maybe, know. maybe I'll maybe I'll message the guys at Black Rifle Coffee. I mean, they're a huge channel, like like half a million subs or whatever it is, huge channel. But maybe I'll just message them and go like, "Hey, Iconicon 2022, see you in the NT." No, no, you can't say it outside of bloody Australian people. They're not going to understand. They think we are here to educate educate the audience, my love. Yeah. Oh my love! You never called me that before. What do you want? New <laughs> coin, something? Dinner. She's so dinner. suspicious of you. So you suspicious. got dinner. Um, Alan Dawson says Black Rifle Coffee Coffee Company have been getting some bad press lately. What? Why is that, Alan? Hmm. I don't. I don't really keep kind of up to speed with. Everyone's getting bad press these days. Yeah. Oh what? Oh, oh everything. <laughs> everyone. You say hello to the wrong person, you get bad press. Don't get me wrong. I think the new Masters of the Universe cartoon, that's the cartoon I was trying to watch when he came out today. It is garbage. Yeah. But even that, people are turning it into some kind of, like, political agenda oh, on their talk. Any any chance to divide and, and segregate? Yeah, and, my God. Really, it, it, but then you take the fun out of like the comic like comic books and then, or even the story. You take the fun out of it. I know. If you take the fun out of function, you're just left with unction. <laughs> unction. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. I'm just trying to figure out if you took fun out of function. If you'd have enough letters to see you in the NT, <laughs> it is. It is. It is. So now, I think I think everybody would want that. I think it's just difficult to uh, get in touch with a lot of these designers and then to have them agree to be on camera. But I agree. I think most people would love to see that and see interviews. Yeah, look, uh, 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 absolutely, Wilson um, and Michael, you, you're spot on. First of all, it's like um, making that connection in the first place, but then having those. So, you know, look, one of the good things with Bob is I've I've known Bob for over ten years now, and you know, started out making a documentary, but we've be become friends. You know, I mean, we've even just had like a private Skype chat with me, Grace and him a few times. Um, Bob, yeah. Bob's a lovely guy. 
it's not the same with other toy designers, but you need to bear in mind a lot of these guys, you know, the ones that you guys want to speak to, like the guys who design TIE fighters and things like that, are in their 70s, if not 80s. And, you know, like hats off to Bob, man. He 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 had his internet working, he had his camera set up, he had all the stuff on the it's table. It's all ready to go. Yeah. So I, I actually, I, I really wanted to get Jeff Maisie, um an interview for Iconicon. Jeff Maisie was the Action Man brand manager um, during the 70s. He did all of the marketing stuff. Um, but from when I interviewed him for the documentary, he was just a totally, a utterly hilarious guy, like cracking. I, I was going back through some B-roll and like there was, he was cracking so many jokes. I had to like edit it out for <laughs> It, it just didn't fit the documentary, you know. Nah. Um, but he was so good. I, I reached out to him and wanted to interview him for Iconicon because he went on after Action Man to become the brand, the Star Wars toy brand manager for all of Europe in the early 1980s. Wow. And I was like, you got some fascinating stories. And he was basically, he was like, May I'm not set up to do live stream. I don't know what I'm doing. He's like, if you want to fly back to England and bring a camera and sit down, I'll do an interview. <laughs> right. But I can't come on a live stream. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's wrap it up, eh? Yeah, yeah. we should. It's getting late. you got to go and work, earn some money, give me some pocket money. <laughs> Save up for that Dyson you keep whinging about. <laughs> Buy my own Dyson. I'm, I'm whinging about it. So, yeah, I will. I know, I know we didn't talk about many of the prototypes, but it was an excuse to just get on camera and have a chat with... No, it was. One, it's... One, of the, one, of, one of my most favourite people in the world. Yeah, but also, is that me? No, I was talking about Michael Schaefer, you idiot. <laughs> Sorry, Michael, it's me. You snore and come home drunk. Um, but I don't um, know you do both of those things. And I work harder. So if I'm not at work, I pay real hard. So hypothetically, <coughs> Michael. Yeah. If me and Gracie went to Joe Fest next year and then stayed in America for Iconicon, and this was part of the discussion that we had with the Iconicon crew this morning, Joe Fest is over a weekend mm -hmm. um, in Augusta, oh, okay, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If we then had a, if we rented like a big, like, um, Airbnb? No, 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 bigger, like, um, bigger. To, no, we'd sell tickets to cover the money for it. Um, but it, let, let's, let's say we got a, like a big hotel in Atlanta and we rented like, um, like a big ballroom or something, like where they have weddings or something like that. Uh, we, we're thinking about like doing the weekend at Joe Fest. Driving back to Atlanta on the Sunday, staying in a hotel with a big ballroom, and then having a big in-person meet and greet with Sounds amazing. myself and Gracie, Michael, Melinda, Matt Swafford, and not just a dinner like um, we're talking like like because so many people are going to want. Are you in? Oh hell yeah! It'll it, 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 it be like a six or eight hour thing, like you know, three hours of afternoon drinks and. Because um, Melinda was saying, like, you know, M Michael will bump into people at these conventions, and the next thing you know, he's just talked for seven hours. And I was like, wait for those Patreon lens clips where, you know, Tim Ward or Gracie is going. <laughs> yeah, Michael has talked flat out about Star Wars for seven hours. I know, I and know. here's a quick clip of how drunk Tony can get in six hours. <laughs> And me and Matt Swafford reckon we'll be out in the car park vomiting. So, so that, that that's kind of the thing we're, we're planning for next year, provided our borders open up. Um, so, yeah. I, I, but I this is not promising, awesome. though. No, he said hypothetical. Like, this is not promising. But, you know, we're going to have another COVID vaccine, like, you know, next in three weeks' time. Oh, we, we, we get a, we get a second we'll be shot in weeks. And we're vaccinated. Good. Yep. Oh, our, we... our, our government's just not letting us go anywhere at the moment. Yeah, it's just so yeah. terrible. I just want to go home. E I even see my mom. to other parts of the country, you can't travel. Right. So. I, I think that's why my par I have a parcel held up, I think, because of that same thing. It even said when you I do. shipped it, it said, you know, international flights right now with COVID 
you know, there's going to be less, yeah, exactly. less shipments. That's good. So I'm, I'm on another live stream tomorrow morning with Grindhead Jim. We're going to be talking about Desert Rat. Yeah. I've got parcels here from Evander. I've got parcel from Jody. Can I have a look? This is tomorrow morning. Um, or t tonight for me. Yeah. 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 Um, one <laughs> from the. Um, um, oh, that's that's from my darling Leslie. Darling Leslie. Yeah, Scoop and Pete's wife. Yeah, I know. I actually think it's from Pete, but I think just Leslie posted it and signed it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, my God, if you're going to fly halfway around the world, I can fly down to Atlanta. That's nothing. So yeah, I'm there. I'm in for that. I because yeah. I was going to ask you, you were talking earlier about Gracie was you were saying earlier about wanting to be more involved with uh, Iconicon next year, and I, Tony had already mentioned that he was thinking about coming to the states for that. So I was going to ask yeah. if you were going to come along with him. So yeah, that's Look, great. I definitely would go along with. Well, Tony will not go by himself. So <laughs> he <doesn't trust> me. <laughs> nah, he's not trustworthy. Are you going to bring Zen along? We will. No. Yeah. Are we on the same page or what? Are we on the same book or not? No, we'll fly down to Perth and go, hey, Nanny, <laughs> you, like, you, know, you don't get to see Zen very often. Wouldn't you like to hang out with him for three weeks? I mean, Grace, go to America. You, no, I don't want to bring him to America. America's dangerous, man. More people get shot in America every day than Afghanistan. Yeah. But it would be good for him to see America. Just a heads up, Tony, Michael is having a, I guess he wants to screw with your, I'm kidding. He's, he is having a uh, live stream at eight. Oh, PM. yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. I, I saw that. He's taught, um, I can't remember the subject, but he's talking to Kevin Sexton, the, you know, yes. the, the sculptor of the Panther. And, I think um, it's about the new Motu stuff and, you know, yeah. uh, distribution availability, that kind of thing. I think that's yeah. what it, the topic is about. But I, I saw um, Scott Hughes said here. I think you and Retro Blasting have a live stream. Um, well, it, 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 it's, it, they're an hour apart, so I'm yeah. going to be 7 p.m. Eastern, Michael's 8 p.m., so it will overlap a little bit. Um, I, 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 I chatted to Michael on that Iconicon meeting this morning, and I didn't even want to bring it up because I, I know the kind of guy Michael is. He'll, he'll feel really bad and he'll really schedule. He doesn't need to. There's, there's no problem no. with us overlapping. I got no problem if if people want to leave my stream and watch his, and I'm sure he, he vice versa. It's it's no issue. It's just yeah. it is what are it is. Sorry, are you still planning the Patreon only after show chat, or are you going to skip that tonight? Yeah, no, 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 no. Grace is working, so it'll be a Patreon only after show. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to wear a Borat mankini. Um, there's going to be cucumbers and God knows what else. What time is this? <laughs> You'll be alright. <laughs> Uh, no, okay. no, that's actually not happening. No, I know. Just watch as Tony bleeds patrons now. <laughs> Tony, if I see any you go in my house, I'll fucking stick it up your hole. So, Alan Dawson was asking when his cucumber in this house. Uh, Alan, I'm not sure the exact date, but I believe it's in June is Joe Fest. Uh, uh, yeah, late June, like the last week of June. I, I don't know the exact date, but yeah, the last week of June. Next year. Because uh, um, my friend, that's Alan Dawson, my friend. But that, that will be your birthday as well. Yeah, I know. And then we get roll straight into Iconicon. But, and then we but yeah, go Al straight to Alan always used to go to um, Joe Lanter, which is now Toy Lanter. But that's in like March, which is ah. way too early. Um Unless we might win the lot. <laughs> I'm just looking it up here. G uh, it's June 24th through the 26th. 40,000. Ah, Where are yeah. toys, comic books, and amazing guests? Joe Fest, the real Augusta toy and comic show. Yeah. Um, what am what amazing. To toy Galaxy voice. What? What amazing guests. Yes. Yeah, what guests? Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> I closed out the tab. Uh, Joe Fest 2022. One moment, please. Can you tell me? Uh, it doesn't show yet. It just says buy tickets. Let's see. Guests. And yeah, they don't, they don't have any guests yet. But, Sergeant um, Slaughter. He's going to be there. And that's the well, only he's guest. Already, he's already booked. If, if, well, yeah. if he's still alive anyway. Um, Ouch. <laughs> Tony, what the hell? 
I mean, if he makes it, you know, through the night and yeah. Yeah. it's just got dark. Yeah. yeah. No, no, look, I, I, I will, I will not be a guest of Joe Fest. Right. But Valiverse will, and I will be a, um, I don't know if I'm a guest or if I'm a paid employee. But I am um, uh, Bobby oh, Valor is my new boss, and I am ob provided customs and clearance and all that is going. I am obligated to go to Joe Fest next year. We've got to take all of that stuff in our suitcase so I can cosplay as myself. I was going to ask if you if you're going to be in a business club because that would not fit in the economy. Neither does your attitude, mate. <laughs> no, I was going to say if if you're if you're uh, appearing in costume, you definitely need to be paid for that. I mean, that's that's like cost like when Shatner appears as Kirk, he gets you know ten times the money. If you're appearing as Desert Rat, you have to get major coin for that. Seriously, I can't wait to come. I can be your manager. I, I I'll talk to uh, Bobby and I'll beat him up for you. Get your percentage and. Yeah, 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 do that. Do that. Like, I, I love Bobby so much. Like, I, I just I do it for a bottle of whiskey or something. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I'm not totally a cheap kidding. bottle of whiskey, but. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. It's like 1942 or something. Mm. All right, let's sign off because I've got to go pee. All right, Roger. Thank you, Michael, to like signing in, locking and seeing us. Oh. Thank you for having me. I appreciate the offer. Always well, yeah, love chatting with you. Finger crossed. Nothing going worse or going pear shaped next year. I can be over next year. I and how good would it be to meet each other in person? And I think so nice. it'll be so good in Joe Face, that like everyone sees Tony. Can I just say no. that America is not ready for this? <laughs> no, they're not. Oh, hell yes, we are. <laughs> no, you know. You, you, you thought Trump was bad. <laughs> I was the worst. <laughs> No, I'm I'm telling you, you're gonna see this huge influx of people in Georgia if if you know with retro blasting there and Tony there, analog toys, everybody I mean, you're gonna have a lot of people coming to Joe Fest for that for sure. No, I mean I don't collect GI Joe and I'm gonna go to that. Yeah. But that, no, yep. that, that, this is amazing. So it will be so good. Because that what one of my dreams to go to America, but if we go to America to showing him, yeah, that probably next level. Of excitement for me. You're going to get disappointed because you're not going to be able to, you're not going to see as much as you think you're going to see because it takes so long to get from place to place, you know? Well, gonna want she's going to be disappointed when she discovers what six inches is. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I've seen six inches before. I've been lying to you for a long time. You wait till you get this action figure and you'll be like, no. Yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. All right. No. On that on that note, let's sign off. Are you ready to say goodbye to everyone? Grace? Me? Yeah. I thought you were talking to Michael. No, no you. Okay, Address the audience la one last time. Sorry for my shenanigans. That shenanigan was fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry for my work. I'm sorry for my action. I didn't sorry that you guys enjoying it so much. But yeah, I still need to apologize a little bit. But well, did I feel guilty? Not really. I just feel like I've, it's because of his channel. And I feel like I have to be a good wife. Come along and say, I, 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 just, I just feel bad. It, it's just not, it's not what I'm like. And I want to apologize for hosting a live stream about Action Man Action Force prototypes and actually not spending much time talking about toys. But it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to sit down with my darling Michael Schaefer. <laughs> You're oh, he's get a joy. You tonight. Um, and um, yeah, thanks for jumping on, guys. <laughs> yeah. He's such an ass. I know, oh. I'm an asshole. All right, I will see you guys in about less than 12 hours' time for a uh. Another Desert Rat interview on my channel with Grindhead Jim. Bobby Valor may be joining us. I think he might have a hockey game, uh, but I have extended him the invite. We've got some unboxings. We'll do a Patreon-only live stream. So I'll see you guys. Um, if you're in America, I'll see you tonight. Yes. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you'll be at work tomorrow morning for us. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, Time I'll be at work. So.
Bye-bye. Sleep bye. well.